Hi guys, today I'm filming a current um, hair product and beauty product favorites video just to let you guys know what I've been using and stuff like that. So I'm going to start off with my hair care products. So the first product I have is a shampoo and conditioner and this is the Cantu Shea Butter um, Sulfate Free Cleansing Cream Shampoo and Hydrating Cream Conditioner. It looks like this. I got these from Walgreens. Walgreens always has like um like the sulfate free stuff. Like buy one get one half off. So I got this from Walgreens and these are really good. If you watched my hair care regimen video, then you know I mentioned in it that I don't really focus much on shampoos and conditioners, but since I found these, um like kind of changed my mind like this is so good this um it says it's rich lather removes heavy buildup and it does it really cleans my hair really well because I do have I like dry scalp like my hair gets dandruff and stuff and product buildup and this removes all of it without making my hair dry because no matter what shampoo I use I find that my hair is still dry even the sulfate free ones like the organics i've tried them i don't like them at all because it just leaves my hair so dry even the conditioners so but this is the first sulfate free shampoo i've used that actually left my hair feeling hydrated and it made my hair easy to detangle like these are my go-to shampoo and conditioner now and i've been using these and i really really like it so pick these up the next hair product i have is a deep conditioner this is the cream of nature with argan oil from morocco moisturizing milk mask um looks like this <laughs> the first time i used this actually i really didn't like it i found that my hair was kind of dry when i rinsed it out but the second time i used it like i liked it so i think the first time i just used way too much but this is really good for a cheap old deep conditioner i feel like if this was a um um a styling product for like wash and goes it would be really good because when you put it on your hair it's really it's a thick consistency so it goes on um and it leaves your hair it goes on and makes your hair soft and it defines your curls so if this I wonder if they if they have a styling product i'm gonna go back and look if they have styling products or if, or if you like know leave a comment if they have like styling products for wash and goes and stuff because i want to try one i've never really done a wash and go so i think i'm gonna try one and um let you guys see the results because i'm kind of i'm kind of nervous about trying wash and goes because the back of my hair is like a looser curl and the top of my hair is recovering from heat damage and it's um it's looser than the bottom and then the sides of my hair is like weird it's just like kind of weird so but pick this up and the last hair product i have is this matrix total results heat resist iron tamer smoothing lotion i picked this up at regis salon in my mall where i live so if you have a regis salon where you live um you can get these there if not, I'll try to find these online and leave a link below in the description box. Um, I'll list all my products that I'm mentioning in my description box. I used to flat iron my hair all the time. So I would use this before I flat ironed it. But I just use this anyways, even when I'm not flat ironing my hair or straightening it or anything. Because it leaves my hair really soft. I put this on after I rinse out my deep conditioner when I'm going into like detangle my hair again and comb it out and it helps with detangling your hair and making it really soft and manageable so I would suggest trying this if you have not tried it already moving on to skincare the first thing first two products I have are face washes the first one is the Coors Greek yogurt foaming cream cleanser like this i got this from sephora it's about 25 dollars i initially got a sample of this 
and I went and bought the full size because I really like it it's very hydrating it leaves my skin really soft and supple and just youthful and glowy looking so and it smells it has a mild fragrance it's not strong it just smells like clean so try this if you have not tried it already and if you're looking for a good face wash the next face wash I have is by Purity and it's the One Step Facial Cleanser. I got the small size because it was like $10 or something and I'm cheap. So I didn't want to buy the big size if I didn't know how it was going to work out. So I use this when I want to wash off my excess makeup. So I like use a makeup wipe to remove my makeup and then I'll go on with this and wash the rest of my face and it gets off all the rest of my makeup and all my mascara it gets off all of it so this is really good for removing like getting rid of all your makeup and like getting your skin just really really clean so try this and the last skincare i have is a face sponge this is the boshka cognac cleansing sponge i don't know if you can see that It looks like this it's just a white sponge and it's really good for washing your face with I got this from Sephora as always and it was like I don't remember how much it was but it wasn't that expensive I think it was like $10 or something and I know I needed a another face sponge like something to exfoliate my face with and wash my face with because I had all these tiny little bumps on my face and I was like why are these bumps here like they're not going away so I bought this and ever since I've been using this with my face washes like all my little tiny bumps have gone away so if you don't have like a face sponge or a clear sonic or a spin brush or something like that to help wash your face I would highly recommend getting one because it just helps get in there and getting your skin and remove all that oil and dirt and all that stuff out so the next thing I'm going to talk about is a makeup item. I only have one makeup item because I don't buy a whole bunch of makeup anymore because I don't really wear makeup every day. Only on the weekends because I wake up at 5 in the morning and nobody has time to be waking up before 5 o'clock to put on makeup for work. No. So this is, make, this is a lipstick and it's by MAC and it's called Peach Stock. I'm sure we've all heard of Peach Stock and it looks like this it's a very brownie peachy color that's a light so i wear this like every time i do my makeup now because it's my fave color ever and i wear it with cork lip liner by mac which is a brown lip liner if you're my skin color or darker then you definitely need a lip liner for this because otherwise you're gonna be looking like a crackhead so get a lip liner but i got this from nordstrom because i was not gonna go to the mall because we don't have a mac store where i live we only have the mac counters in the malls and the department stores so like it's like everybody in my city only knows about mac like nobody else goes to any other makeup counter everybody is always at the mac makeup counter and it's like you guys know there are other makeup brands that exist and there's always only like three or four people who work there and they're all like helping the 500 people that are there and I'm just like I just want one thing and I have to wait like 30 minutes to get one thing so I'm just like I'm gonna save my time and my stress and just order it offline because I don't have time okay to be waiting for a lipstick the last thing I have is a lotion and this is by Philosophy and it's Dazzling Diamond Lotion. And I got this actually at TJ Maxx. So I picked this up and it actually is white. It's white, right? But when you spread it on it leaves like a shimmer. But the shimmer is not initially in there so it's really cool. And it's very hydrating and you don't need a lot and it smells so good i love it so whenever i run out of this i'm definitely gonna buy some more online wherever i can find it this is so good so i really like this lotion so that's it for my favorites if you guys have tried any of these products let me know your thoughts and opinions on them um, if you have any other videos that you want to 
to see please leave a comment i say this every video and like nobody ever leaves a comment even if it's just to say hi like just let me know you exist like leave a comment um so we can interact you know get to know each other uh if you have any questions comments leave them down below i'll answer them and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video